The state of Karnataka lies in the south of India. Here, rivers are central to the lives of local people, but river water availability is seasonal and water quality is often affected by pollution. Yeah, basically in the southern, uh, most of the water-related problem is basically depends on our monsoon. The source of water is the river, which people are using directly. I mean, and if the monsoon is not well, rivers getting dried and rivers are getting flooded. Sometimes there is excess of water, sometimes there is no water at all. Uh, in actually in Karnataka, there's a lot of uh, scarcity uh, in terms of you know water uh, supply. Like last summer, there was uh, especially no water in that village, and uh, you know people uh, started to go any extent to get the water for their uh, household purpose. Karnataka is having a lot of rivers and also lakes and uh, groundwater facilities. Uh, however, due to heavy demand by the agriculture, especially agriculture, availability of good water is uh, getting uh, less and less. The major crop is sugarcane, the highly water demanded crop and they are utilizing the river water directly to the agriculture. Due to pollution from the various source like application of nutrients or uh, fertilizer that uh, leaching to rivers and river is getting pollution and also the domest uh, domestic and uh, poor sanitation at the village level they don't have proper sanitation uh, facilities yet. that's also impacting on water quality In this context of fluctuating water availability and poor water quality, sustainable community level water solutions are needed. Riverbank filtration technology, or RBF, is one such solution that can be provided to communities located adjacent to polluted rivers. RBF technology is a simple technology where we drill a well near a river, often as little as 20, 30 metres away. Um, install a pump in the well and then pump water. When we pump water, the water table is lowered and forcing the water from the river to flow towards the well, thereby cleaning the water as the water passes through the sediments of the underground. In 2007, the World Bank funded the Indian organisation Terry and the University of Rhode Island to conduct one of the first RBF studies in southern India. This project focused on the logistics of RBF installation and provided crucial pilot data confirming RBF feasibility in this setting. Following this successful project, Terry and URI invited Monash University researchers to join them in designing and conducting a study focusing on the health impacts of RBF. Monash University has significant experience doing water and health related projects. For this reason we were really delighted when we were approached by our collaborators at the University of Rhode Island and Terry to get involved in this project and we help to put together a program of research to see how improved access to safe water impacts on the health of people living in rural Indian communities. The project Improving Access to Safe Water Using Riverbank Filtration Technology was conducted in the Belgaum district of northern Karnataka and was designed to investigate the effect of an improved water supply on the health of people living in rural communities. The study used a stepped wedge cluster randomised design that allowed all villages to eventually receive RBF systems. Setting up and conducting a study in rural Karnataka would not have been possible without the guidance and expertise of the team from Terry, who did an incredible job in recruiting and training local villagers in electronic data collection and field assistant duties, and in setting up a laboratory in a remote location. I consider myself uh, as a project coordinator for this project. Uh, mainly for implementing the riverbank filtration, the drilling part in, um, in the villages, uh, negotiations with the landowners, with district commissioners, and setting up laboratory, hiring of field staff. I could have taken surveys all the way from schools and colleges, uh, but 
I thought that it will be very ideal to take uh, surveyors who are already educated, who are passed out from the village itself and that will also help in community involvement because community involvement in any implementation kind of project is very important aspect. One aspect of the project did this was to train the surveyors. So initially we called the surveyors to our Randini office wherein we showed them the questionnaire and we literally translated them in Kannada. And then later we also showed them how to use the tabs. And whenever they were finding a difficulty, we were explaining it to them how the survey has to be carried out, how they need to approach the uh, households, how an introduction had to be given. Actually my work is a field assistant and I work in the laboratory as an uh, analysis process, means a water quality analysis. I'll, along with that, uh, I'm maintaining the register and logbooks for every instrument. Uh, in a field, the field measurements I have taken and surveyors feedback, surveyor response with the villagers, uh, RBF maintenance and field measurements like uh, RBF monitoring also is coming in this. In this project we have done a very good exploration to see that RBF is possible in the southern, southern region. So uh, the main challenge is what uh, what I see is the getting the good site. Another thing uh, in this project also we had a problem for the electricity to get get for 24 hours electricity. Uh, these are the two main issue what we, what I see also in this this project. The future of RBF in India is uh, a question that needs to be further studied. Our initial study clearly indicates that there is a application for railroad infiltration that's technological feasible to install such wells and to attract the river water as uh, railroad infiltration technology would require. If a river dries out, river infiltration could provide a solution in such that it taps into water that is still flowing beneath the river bed. That's the base flow, meaning we would be able to produce water even after other wells already have fallen dry. And that's one advantage for, of riverbank filtration systems in areas where no other water resources than rivers are available. We've learned a lot about water and health issues from this project. It seems that RBF is not going to be a standalone solution, but because it does improve uh, the amount of water that people have access to, particularly during periods of drought, and potentially gives them a more ready access to water through tanks, it may be that people have more water available in their homes to use for hygiene purposes, for example, and this may have uh, direct consequences and, and lead to improvements in their health. I cannot say uh, this is the only one solution. It's maybe one of the solution which uh, helping in sustainable development of uh, water supply in uh, rural areas, especially Karnataka. I'm proud to be project coordinator of such a wonderful study which involves an international collaboration and uh, I'm really thankful to all my team members also because without their support it wouldn't have been a fabulous job. This international collaboration has been a wonderful experience for all involved. The involvement of professionals from different disciplines and backgrounds led to new ways of thinking and collectively we learnt to be flexible and deal with the unexpected. Through our shared experiences, we built lasting friendships and look forward to further collaborations. We are extremely grateful to all of our study participants who deepened our knowledge of rural India and our understanding of the water issues facing those living in rural communities. We leave this project inspired by the willingness of our field workers to embrace new technology and knowledge, and we emerge with profound respect and admiration for the optimism and resilience shown by those living in rural India. Uh -huh.